Question number 11, Jenny Marcroft. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Defence and asks, what recent announcements has he made regarding the replacement of the C-130 Hercules fleet? Oh. The Honourable Speaker. Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, on 5th June, I was proud to announce that the Coalition Government had approved the long overdue purchase of five new Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules transport aircraft. Generations of New Zealanders have grown up and in my case, growing old, Mr Speaker, uh, with the 1960s era Hercules. They know these aircraft have always been an essential first line of response at home and in the Pacific during natural disasters, times of crisis and in support of our military operations around the world. The new aircraft will fly further, faster, with a greater payload, uh, Minister of Finance, and, uh, than the current Hercs, and the $1.5 billion project will also deliver a flight simulator and supporting infrastructure. Supplementary. How do our new Super Hercules compare to others in service around the world? Speaker, uh, they compare very well, Mr Speaker. Actually, each aircraft will be fitted with additional specialist capabilities outside of their standard build, including wide, brand, wide bandwidth high-speed satellite communication systems and electro-optical infrared cameras. Uh, this equipment will make our new Super Hercs amongst the most capable in the world. The satellite communication systems will allow imagery, video and data to be streamed in real time and the camera allows for the conduct of aerial surveillance operations at the same time that the, Air Force, the aircraft is undertaking transport missions, which will be particularly useful in HADAR and search and rescue operations. Supplementary. How does this decision complement other Air Force capability decisions made by the Coalition Government this term? Mr Speaker, some people in the Defence Force are now describing this period as the golden years for defence procurement, starting with and stating that in one short term we have effect effectively revamped the major capabilities of the entire New Zealand Air Force. In addition to the Super Hercs, Mr Speaker, this government has procured four new P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft, purchased a new simulator for the NH-90 helicopters being installed right now, S signed a contract for the lease of four new King Air 350Bs, about 150 mil, with two fitted specifically for maritime right. surveillance. Order. Order. Oh, there's a lot Order. more, Mr Order. Speaker. Yeah, well, none of which is a recent announcement. Even the 5th of June hardly qualified. So many questions for you. Could I ask the Minister what possible excuse has he got that we have had to wait all these years to modernise to modernize essential military and humanitarian equipment? <laughs> it's not his responsibility. Order. A point of order, the Honourable Dr David Clark. Point of order, uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to correct an answer that I have given to uh, question 10 today. Is there any objection to that? There appears to be none. Uh, Mr Speaker, a colleague has drawn attention uh, to the fact that I said in my answer that today a record 9,174 tests had been carried out. Uh, in fact, uh, that was yesterday that a record was set. Um, today, we do not have the results in yet. Going back to the point of order, because I cut them off. The speaker, is that Mr Mark would uh, have explained that uh, it's taken him two and a half years to get to the point where he wanted to get to, or he could just plainly say that his useless predecessors didn't do their job. But either way, order, it's in order. Order, 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 order. The, the member uh, is the most experienced member of the House, and he knows that donkey drops to bash the opposition with are not allowed uh, by way of supplementary question. Question. Number 12, Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My